hard out here for a goat. It's a hot day, shall we find? I wanna try this. Oh, Donnie's. Hello friends, welcome back to our farm. Now that show season is over, we need to get a few things wrapped up from this kidding season. We still need to have two babies we need to tattoo, sugar and maple. We're also gonna do Dottie's microchip in her tail. And then we'll be ready for our next adventure, which should be our linear appraisal. We did sign up for that and we're just waiting for our date and then we'll be going to that. Yes, this is my hiking vest. I don't hike, but I wear this to the barn when I do chores because it has a place for my phone and a water bottle and I never have pockets. So that's why I'm wearing it. Okay, I have two sets of tattoo pliers one for the right ear and I wrote a little R on there. This is our herd tattoo, which never changes. And this is the one for the birth year and the number they were born in the left ear with an L on it. So the first thing I've got, what I need loaded, I'm gonna soak these in alcohol. Did you show everybody your sweet vest? I did. Oh man. Sweet. This is about as nice as my hat. Look at that. Boom. Form and function. Yep. They all think it's dinner time. It's a thing of beauty. I hate doing this. You want to do it this time? Not really. No. I like to just cuddle them. It's my job is just to cuddle the goats. Make sure everybody's comfortable. Okay. So we're going to use some cornstarch this time. We're going to try it out. Okay. So yeah, so this is something that we heard about is that if you use cornstarch in the area after you tattoo, that it won't, the ink won't spread all over the place. So after you put the ink on, you put the starch over the ink. Yep. So we'll tattoo like normal, but once we're done tattooing, we'll dab the starch on there and then it shouldn't smear as much. All right. This is maple bar. This is Mavis in Braun Doling from this year. And she's about three months old now. Right? April, May, June, July, yeah. We're a little late on our tattooing. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult, I think, to hold her. We don't like doing it. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Because now, okay. she's, now she's really big and strong. It's gonna be hard to hold her head still. And they're just gonna be hard, hard, more difficult to do, so we really should have done it earlier. Okay, well, we're not gonna show the actual tattooing. We'll come back when we do the cornstarch. Okay, we Good. just got our ink in. Now I have some cornstarch on my pad, and I'm just gonna put it in. Can you? Hard to do it when that is old. Sugar. I gotta do my numbers and regroup. Okay. Well, glad that's over with. We also microchip our goats because sometimes the tattoos are illegible, especially on darker eared goats. On the white goats, you can see right through their ear, so when they shine the flashlight, you can see it no problem. But on some of the goats, it's hard to make out the tattoo. You know, as a as a secondary precaution, we also microchip them. So today we're gonna microchip Dottie. Mavis already got her microchip. So we're gonna participate in linear appraisal here pretty soon, which is kind of like another show. We have to prep them like we're going to a show. We wanna make sure that they're clipped. We wanna make sure that their udders are full. We are still doing milk testing, so we've got a bunch more milk tests to do. So we'll still be milking them out and keeping their udder as full as we can. The linear appraisal we're pretty excited for because we'll kind of get this, get some numbers on our goat and then we can use those numbers going forward uh, for breeding and, and kind of see where they're lacking. It should be really informational. So really excited to participate in that. And then that's about it. Then we've got to just focus on who we're gonna breed to who. So, and that's kind of a fun part we've been looking through a lot of data and trying to find what bucks we're going to use you know of course we're going to use brawn um, but we'd also like to you know introduce 
you know some other bucks we were really excited to get a tank and to try our hand at ai we were gonna try this a couple years ago but smoky ended up coming available and we got smoky and so we used smoky for that first year rather than doing any ai so really excited about the ai so if you guys aren't subscribed subscribe for the future stuff and like ai and linear appraisals and all of that should be really exciting so and if you are subscribed thank you <laughs> all right we got dotty's chip right here we're just going to check it make sure it matches the numbers And we're going to clean the area with alcohol, insert it, and put some glue on it. So I'm going to start cleaning the area. And Dottie's a squatter. Yeah, hopefully, do, hopefully, hopefully Dottie does okay. I need another one. Okay. Gotta dry it. They really don't care. I don't think they have a lot of nerves there. Is it bleeding? No. Little Blue Dottie's tail to her butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, not <be> good. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. Dottie's done. So normally you would just send your paper in with the sticker on it, but since there's still troubles with the registration website, we're going to hold off. We'll go ahead and stick the sticker on there, but we'll wait to send it in just a little bit longer. Stick it. Right here. Somebody got some new soap, so poor lemon has to do the test dummy. It's <laughs> a hot day, she'll be fine. I want to try this. Pro Vitamin Strengthens Hair, 2 in 1. Oh, she's got her glove and everything. And it's a pop top. Oh, pop top. You're too fat. You're too fat. Oh, you're too fat, girl. You're too fat, girl. You can't sit on my lap anymore. You're too fat. Yeah, you're too fat. Uh, so yeah, we just got done watching the national show. We watched the live stream, which was really cool. So we were able to watch the parts we missed uh, when I was at work. Uh, we could watch it back and uh, watch the recordings of it. So that was really cool. But it was really exciting to watch nationals and really exciting to hopefully someday make it to nationals and uh, I think they're coming back to Redmond Oregon in uh, 2023 so we're shooting for that and hopefully we've got some quality goats to bring along um, and 
careful he thinks, Stace. It's hard out here for a goat. Trudy is a true lap goat. All right, so so far, Gertie's at 1.2 pounds, Mavis is at 1.6 pounds, and Fern is at 1.4 pounds. So it's always surprising to me which goats production will kind of go up and, and go down. Because last month, Gertie was the highest, I think, right? Gertie was the highest last month. I don't remember. I'll have to check. But it's, it's crazy to watch their production fluctuate. Another thing is to showing affects your production. So it's kind of hard to get good milk test numbers when you're showing because it always brings down your production because you're filling the udder all day and so their body says oh you don't need any milk but it helps when you dam raise because you put the babies back on and it gets the production flowing again there goes mavis then we're gonna bottle feed the babies Come on, you're spilling. Oh. One point four. Yeah. I think I've perfected the pour, guys. Practice makes perfect. Did you put it in the right tube? Yeah. yeah. That was dirty, right? That was Mavis. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's Gertie's turn. Let's see how Gertie did. Mavis came in at an even three pounds of milk. Time to weigh Gertie. Gertie came in at 1.3. Easy now. You know I like to spill stuff when I'm over here doing the pour. I'd give that pour like a nine out of 10 right there. All right, last up is Fern, and she's been kind of a pain in the butt lately. She's, uh, she's not the nicest, she's not the nicest goat to milk. Fern weighed in at 1.1 pounds. 1.1. So Gertie did a little bit more, Mavis did a little less, and Fern did a little less. Oh, 
I'll do a little shake to activate the preservative and spread it around through the through the vial. That way it preserves the milk so that it can make it to the test facility so they can test the protein levels and the fat content. Oh goodness. Oh they hungry. So maple and sugar are typically on Mavis throughout the day. We just we like to dam raise so if anything comes up they can just eat off of Mavis. So we like to try to get them bottle trained when they're a couple days old. This has worked really well. Just get them on the bottle a couple days and then if you need to supplement them with a the bottle, you can do so. Or if you need to leave them on Mavis, you can do that also. They still get their foods. Who's next? So other than that, the tattooing, the chipping, and kind of an update on what we're doing. Wanted to say thank you guys for watching and we really appreciate all you guys and watching our videos and hanging out with us and I just think it's just really awesome. So we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.